Hello everyone, welcome to Chaudhary Data World channel. Today I am here with a new video on data modeling part that is what are types of dimension in data warehouse. So all the types those can be confirmed or trigger that might be slowly changing dimensions, ranking, anything. So whatever it is written over here, we are going to explain in this particular video. Although I have already covered up a CD that is slowly changing dimension into the separate video. Then also I will recap it uh, so that you, you guys can get it very clearly that what so slowly changing dimension is and how is it different from other dimension tables. So all these things in detail we'll be watching into this particular video. So let's get started with the video. Ideally, I should start with the dimensions, that type of dimensions. But before going forward with the types of dimensions in data warehouse, I'm just quickly recapping the things whatever I have taught right now, so that you can get a link between starting from data modeling and how is it getting transitioned to the uh, types of dimension in the data warehouse. So first and foremost thing is that what is even data modeling? So just it's just organizing or structuring the data in optimized format it is called as data modeling now there are two types of table which comes under this data modeling those are fact table dimension table if you are already aware fact table is the summary table dimension table is the uh, detail table you may say now we covered up steps of dimensional modeling in which uh, i mostly talked about this schema thing that what all types of schema are there into this uh, uh, star schema, snowflake schema and galaxy schema. After that, we came across with this uh, types of dimension in data warehouse. Before this types of dimension in data warehouse, we are having this these two tables, fact table and dimension table. In the, uh, how these are related to each other, that this fact table is the summary table, right? It's a basically a aggregation of all the facts or you may say whatever facts into whole of the business it is it is the aggregation of that and the detail level uh, data it is getting stored into the separate separate dimension you can take an example of here you can see sales table so you are having the sales table and the time dimension it can be store dimension clerk dimension all these are something which are on the separate table basis level so that it can be have a detailed information to that now we will be moving ahead with the slowly changing dimension quickly then we will be moving ahead with other ones so for that just coming to here it is slowly changing dimension over uh, available here so what you can see here that slowly changing dimension is a uh, type of dimension table which is just to capture and manage the change uh, means whatever attributes over time it is getting changed that means whatever historical data it is coming into your dimension table those are getting managed into slowly changing dimension so there are several ways with which we are handling our historical data those ways are categorized as the type 1 slowly changing dimension or type 2 or type 3 and so on but mostly i have talked about type 1 type 2 and type 3 in which you can see that uh, um, by seeing this example that what it is type 1 type 1 is nothing but if we are uh, whenever your historical data it is getting there that means whatever data it is available into the present table and now whatever changes it coming to that table uh, into that particular attribute suppose for the customer table and uh, address is a attribute that address might change right so that address whenever it will be changing we can either keep that previous address or we may erase off that uh, previous address so in this type one we are just erasing off the previous address we are only storing the current address in type two you can see that we are maintaining three separate attributes as well apart from that address here in term i am replacing that address with the designation that per, this particular customer designation it has been changed from management to senior management apart from that we are taking track of the start date when it has been changed and when it has been uh, it is going to be retired after that there is a flag 
column which is having yes and no is current that means this particular senior management it is for this particular customer he is the senior management right now so is current is yes and another one the previous one which was management it is no and a start and end it accordingly and for apart from that we are having this type 3 slowly changing dimension in which what we do we don't store all the previous or historical data as we are doing in type 2 that's why it is type 2 is most popular scd type in type 3 we are only storing previous and the current data whatever suppose that management was promoted to senior management senior management we are taking as the designation and previous designation we are taking as the management so that's it if that particular senior management will convert to vice president this will become designation as vice president and previous designation will become senior man it will not store the management data over there so this was a whole, whole overview of this scd or slowly changing dimension moving ahead with the other dimensions so first one into our list is confirm dimension so this confirm dimension is you may say uh, we uh, dimension table that are used across multiple fact table within a data warehouse so till now what we saw that a particular fact table is associated with multiple dimension table correct and that dimension table is likely to be shared across only one fact table but when this dimension table is getting shared with multiple fact table as for example this particular product table you may say this product table is associated with the sales table sales fact table correct and this product table might be associated with the inventory fact table it might be again uh, uh, associated with the forecast fact table so when it will be mapped to different different uh, fact tables that means a single one will be associated with multiple fact table a single dimension table will be associated with multiple fact table that particular dimension will be called as conform dimension hope you got the whatever i am just explained date is there store is there which is associated with inventory and sales both so all these three date product and store all these three comes under confirm dimensions apart from that this customer sales and sales person it is a normal dimension which might be another dimension type it might be a cd it might be anything right moving ahead with other other one that is junk dimension now the scenario comes into our data modeling that for a particular table you want to keep some attributes which may be in the form of flag if you didn't got my point listen it carefully the attributes may be suppose for this particular sales order fact table it might be that shipped is that particular item has been shipped for this particular sales id or not delivered is it delivered or not so these might be two to three flags it would be containing so it's better or it's a better practice if we uh, take pull out all these flag tables into a junk dimension table and with that junk dimension table we will be associated with junk id and that junk id we will take a note into this sales fact table so what it will do it instead of keeping all these four that means ship delivered received return instead of keeping all these four only one attribute will come here that will be junk id now suppose junk id is one for this particular sales fact table so which will explain indirectly that it has been shipped it has been delivered it has been received and it has also been returned so there are all the combinations it is kept over into this particular dimension table so whatever the combination it is containing across that it is containing this junk id as well which will be associated to the fact table which will reduce our data redundancy and also it will be very much you may say query uh, optimized way to do or way to model our data so this was about this junk dimension which is a very frequently used dimension as well moving ahead with another one that is role playing dimension 
it is also a very good example or you may say good practice if you are aware of this role playing dimension and apply into your project so suppose if you are having a date column into your uh, there are varieties of date column might be into your fact table correct so if suppose this fact internet sales table is there so it might be order date due date ship date all these are date field only correct and across that date field there might be different attributes into that date dimension it can be that means suppose if uh, in india today it is suppose 7th of uh, july it might be correct so any number you may say so any date you may say so that date is in india it can vary from america or usa or from somewhere else correct so that particular mapping somewhere it should be kept correct into our table that mapping if we are supposed correct uh, keeping it into our dim date that means date dimension table so what it will do this order date it will just map on the basis of the key and basis of that key we will be having various varieties of the uh, attributes associated into that date dimension that might be day number of week english day name of week spanish day name of week all these things whatever you can keep so all those things will be available into your dim date only what we need to do is we need to associate a key for this order date key due date key dip date key that key will be enough to explain all those attributes available into the dimension date hope you got this point moving ahead with another one so these are the rest of the dimension which i kept it as uh, uh, just a literature it's uh, this particular video it's going to be a bit of uh, uh, theoretical video since these tables it is uh, uh, um, a bit tip, uh, tough to explain on to the practical base scenario right now so what i have done is this four dimensions whatever we are having we come across into our daily activities those are virtual dimensions first virtual dimension is nothing but if suppose you are having a dimension table that is not related to any fact table that means suppose uh, the, uh, some uh, suppose if you are having a log table correct so this log table is also a dimension table but this dimension table is, uh, this log table is not associated with any of the fact table in in actual scenario so that is a dimension table but it's not associated with any fact table so it is a virtual dimension and another example already i have mentioned over here you can read it throughout so this is the virtual dimension shrunken dimension when you are uh, just uh, you are needy of taking only the overview part of the whole dimension table that means uh, i'm what i'm trying to explain you is suppose if you are having a fact table that fact table is containing various attributes uh, suppose sales fact table is there and that sales fact table there are uh, in uh, for each month you are keeping a track of the sales correct so in shrunken dimension you don't need to keep uh, each and every month sales value this might be on quarterly basis this might be on monthly basis uh we can take an example of forecasting correct so whenever we forecast we don't forecast on the basis of each and every separate days each and every individual days we generally forecast on the uh, monthly basis or quarterly basis or yearly basis so it's the overview table or you may say whatever your fact table it is over there the subset of that particular fact table it is called as shrunken dimension that means you are shrinking that dimension table that means you are keeping only few fields keeping only few attributes into that particular table so this is called as shrunken dimension now another one is the odd trigger dimension that is a dimension contains a reference to another dimension table so suppose a bank account dimension can reference a separate dimension representing the date account was opened so secondary dimension references are called odd trigger. so what if it is trying to tell you is that suppose if you are having a bank account correct that bank account can be associated with multiple dimensions table as well that means 
the dimension table also uh, is needing other dimensions to extract out the um, um, uh, the own information that is only called as odd trigger dimension moving ahead with the degenerate dimension dimension table that having only primary key as the column which is of use for instance so yeah so what you can see that if suppose if you are having a particular table into which you are keeping a record of invoices that what invoice id is having uh, what all attributes or you may say what the bill it is uh, uh, getting there so there might be many things into the invoices that means the product uh, uh, value product id uh, uh, sales id whatever many many things it can cover up right the invoice but that is the uh, the things which are getting extracted from other dimension table it's not of their own correct that product id it will be coming out from the product table product dimension table sales id will be coming out from the sales dimension table like this it will be containing thousands or hundreds of attributes but for the use of our uh, invoice dimension table only uh, one attribute is of use that is invoice id apart from that each of the things associated with is extracted from some other dimension table that's why it is not given that much of importance only important thing to us is that invoice id so that is only the degenerate dimension hope you are uh, you got this degenerate and or trigger rank and virtual because it might sound you confusing but uh, if you will read it throughout the literature definitely you will get to know what it is if not uh, uh, do some homework that search on uh, a bit more on web search for the other other uh, examples and if you find more much confusion let me know into the comment section so that i can explain explicitly some of the dimensions into the some separate video so that was whole about this video if uh, i thought that uh, i just uh, um, hope that you found it very uh, helpful so kindly like to the video subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video with some other topic thanks again